Skibbity bee bop boop bop. Ask Travis and Scott anything. Yeah. All right, today's uh, question comes from Zachary Newton. Zach asks, I would very much like to know who you use to host your different websites and the reason behind why you chose them. And I uh, I don't host and do things very much a lot. I use mostly GitHub with oh, yeah. static yeah, flat yeah. files. So I'm really glad that you're here because yeah. Scott, uh, Scott, if you don't know, by the way, is, is the host of the Level Up Tutorials channel. It's on his t-shirt. And um, Scott... Take it away. Tell, tell me about your hosting. Yeah, so I host uh, nearly everything on on uh, on DigitalOcean, mm-hmm. um, and DigitalOcean from the get go, they're not paying me. By the way, no, this uh, is just a question. It might sound like an advertisement. Yeah, uh, digital. We, yeah, we were just asked the question. It's not an ad. Yeah, right. So DigitalOcean, uh, one thing that struck me immediately was. Uh, their attention to detail and things like the design and things like that. But the the price is good. You can start a droplet, which is like essentially like your own private little server. Yeah. Uh, you can start it blank. You can start it with Apache or Nginx or any of these things pre-installed on it, or even uh, CMSs or whatever. You can you can get it pre-configured or pre-installed, or okay. you can get it blank. Right. Um, and in addition, the whole interface for growing and scaling up and everything is just is beautiful and their documentation is as good as it gets their documentation is the gold standard in my opinion <laughs> for uh, technical explanation as well as just tutorials before DigitalOcean I didn't know how to start my own Linux server I didn't know anything about nginx I didn't know about uh, proxy pass or yeah uh, I didn't know about any of these things I'd mostly uh, hosted on media temple before and then maybe like HostGator or one of those shared hostings before uh, so DigitalOcean might not be the best place to host if you're not looking to get your hands dirty a little bit and in in SSH in and and configure some server files but when you need to do it everything you possibly need to know is in the DigitalOcean documentation and I've learned an insane amount from that um, so that's one of the reasons yeah. why I really appreciate them you know there's there's a lot of interesting things that you just said in there that I'd like to pull out number one is that um, when you're judging a technology looking at the community and the documentation around it is is almost as valuable as how yeah. well can this technology perform Second thing I want to pull out from that is um, that it, it, let's say if um, DigitalOcean is a little bit complex for what you know maybe this person is looking right. for. Um, you mentioned uh, Media Temple or HostGator. Are some of those? What, what are some of those entry level? I, yeah. A lot of WordPress um, new WordPress users ask me about Bluehost. Yep. So can you give us a rundown of what we're looking at there? Yeah. I uh, for those hosts, they're largely very similar. Mm-hmm. You have the C panel that you log in, and it has your sort of one-click installs and your email management, and just basically your sort of management stuff. And they're all extremely similar. Whether it's uh, hosting on GoDaddy, hosting on HostGator, Bluehost, whatever. If I had to pick, I would pick Bluehost only because I get referral cash from them <laughs> but so go to bluehost.com slash scott referral code. yeah click on those links <laughs> in my descriptions but uh no i honestly i ha- i have hosted sites on there and their interface is as good or better than any of the others chances are between those different um between the big the big hosting companies hosting.com uh, uh um and like the ones i said before hostgator godaddy, GoDaddy between yeah. those they're all really comparable. Yeah. Um, if the price is good, which Bluehost price is good, the interface is good, their interface is good, that's all you need, really. Okay. Uh, I've never had any downtime issues or anything with them, so I don't have any negative experiences. But it, in, it, with any of these hosts, it only takes one negative experience before you're like swearing off the I'll host for the life. Next yeah, because they're right. the same. So, so in summary, um, all of these kind of entry level hosts are a lot easier to use, and they're all very comparable in, in terms of service and uh, power and and uh, like benefit to you value. Uh, but at the same time, um, Scott uses uh, what is it? Rain Cloud. <laughs> DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean. Yeah, I use DigitalOcean. Rain Cloud. Yeah. Uh, DigitalOcean because it, because it's super flexible and he's learned a lot from using it. Thanks, Scott, for joining us. We're going to do a few more quick questions and we'll see you guys in the next video. You just watch Ask Travis Anything. If you have a question for me, then send a tweet to at DevTipShow and hashtag it with Ask Travis 
anything. Thanks for watching and check out the other questions on the playlist here on YouTube.